China is the largest country in the world in terms of population. However, that's causing some problems, and Canada takes a China approach to its internet. At the end of 2022, China made it out with pretty good overall statistics. However, the youth unemployment status was one of these exceptions. Now, the CCP has an unofficial contract with the population, where basically, it'll give them no democratic institutions, but it will give them economic stability and happiness. This also causes a divide in which young people are mad that they don't get good opportunities, but the old people are just saying that they're lazy for not taking low-skilled jobs. And what happens when young people aren't happy? 1989, I mean 2022. The CCP knows this, I mean, it happened pretty recently, and they know that they could easily be toppled from pro-democracy protests because they are already swayed by massive demonstrations in 2022. This tells the population that the government can be swayed via protests, so they're going to take that to their advantage whenever they're unhappy. There have been many initiatives introduced aiming on bringing down the youth unemployment rate, mainly giving subsidies for companies hiring young people, and even some hotels offering free rooms for unlimited time for people finding jobs in those provinces. By the way, this photo isn't here because this hotels being offered for free are this luxurious. It's only here because I search up China hotels, and this is the least luxurious one I could find. There are even programs on CGTN telling people to get low-paying jobs. This didn't go well with many people, and so an article on WeChat literally told people to quote, get up, shut up, and go to the farmland, whereas Mao would have told you to get up, shut up, and make steel in your backyard. So my last video did pretty well, and hey, I'm not here to complain about that, but I wonder why, because it's my best performing video ever, and the Fintry Queen is relatively unknown. I don't know why people would have flocked to it so fast. Then, I figured out that the online censorship bill, known as Bill C-11, which is officially the Online Streaming Act, passed. It's been officially said that they want more Canadian content to be discovered online, that they aren't going to regulate what goes on to YouTube. Some have said that this is like, if you controlled in a bookstore what books were sold and which became bestsellers, but you didn't regulate the books coming into the store itself. I mean, I think most people can agree that culture is something formed by the people. If the people want a culture to be this, the government is going to have a hard time regulating it. However, it seems the Canadian government wants to regulate Canadian culture. So yeah, this is going to be quite a strain for people who want to be discovered more in Canada, and it is going to limit free speech, but all in all, there isn't much else I want to say, and I'm not really a YouTuber that talks a lot about Canada, so it's not really my business. But at the same time, I live here, so it kind of is. Anyways, that's all I got. I was kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel for this one because there isn't much news coming out of China. Also, apparently, this is the 10th episode of the Exploring Hong Kong news series, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, soy Gein and bye.